Are you currently experiencing obstacles in your life's journey? Are you worried because there seems to be no hope of overcoming them? Do you know that your breakthrough is close? Yes, worry no more. Your obstacles and challenges are not meant to be permanent. You only have them because smooth sails do not make strong sailors. You will overcome your challenges and obstacles. When you see these signs, as will be unraveled in this video, know that a breakthrough is near. Make sure you watch till the end. If you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel yet, please do so now by clicking on the subscribe button so that you can receive more motivational videos from time to time. The Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord saves them from them all. Your life is facing obstacles because those are the inevitabilities of life. Many things will happen that will make you worried and restless. But there is always an exemption for those who are God's own, and He will come through for them to have a breakthrough. If you are wondering why He does not help you avoid it totally, then He will not do that because that will make you too relaxed to even remember His essence in your life. So, when you see these signs, a breakthrough is coming your way. One significant sign you should watch out for is when you experience God's manifest presence. It is true that when you are saved in Christ Jesus, the presence of God dwells in you. But you will notice moments when His presence becomes manifestly revealed. This manifest presence is always so overwhelming that you cannot but notice Him. When God manifests His presence in a place or to a person, it is to achieve a specific aim whether to bring deliverance by the arm of His power or comfort to His people by His overwhelming love. Usually, God manifests His presence in these ways to reassure His children that He is with them. When the Israelites were leaving Egypt for the Promised Land, they were scared of many things, the attack from neighboring cities and countries they were passing through, Pharaoh's change of mind towards them, which would result in the attack and many other things that made them fearful and uncertain of the journey they were embarking on. They faced many obstacles on their way, but they always had breakthroughs because God's manifest presence was with them. At some point, He was a pillar of cloud to them by day and a pillar of fire by night. Today, God will hardly manifest in such forms again, but there is no doubt that you can still feel His tangible presence now and then. When you are going through a difficult time that has made you cry so much that you no longer have the strength to carry yourself, and you suddenly feel an embrace so warm and loving that it is undeniable that is God's manifest presence coming to comfort you and reassure you that He is with you. And when God is with you, you can be rest assured that a huge breakthrough is coming. You only have to trust Him. When God's manifest presence is revealed to you, you have nothing to worry about. Your song should be Paul's rendition in Romans 8, 32, which says what, then, shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He will surely grant you a breakthrough over all that has been making you worry and have sleepless nights. It will interest you to know that God's manifest presence brings peace and comfort to His children but trouble to the adversaries of His children. The Bible records that as the children of Israel went from nation to nation, the terror of the Lord was upon the neighboring countries such that they could not harm or do evil to the Israelites. In the same way, when God's manifest presence is revealed to you, every force working against you will bow in fear of God's presence, and you will receive your breakthrough. A prophetic declaration is another sign that a huge breakthrough is coming. It is amazing how God can turn a seemingly impossible situation around so much that you will be shocked and speechless. Never underrate God because no matter how big your problems are, He is way bigger than them. And He can grant you a breakthrough no matter how long your problem has persisted. His medium of doing that sometimes is giving you a prophetic declaration through His prophets or His word. Whichever medium He employs, all you need to do is believe in what the Lord has spoken. Don't allow your problems to give you unbelief. There was a time in Samaria when the famine was great, and people began to beat their children when they could no longer bear the hunger. No one hoped things would improve, even if they earnestly wished for a change. 
This was because the host of the Syrians, who besieged their city and stopped them from going in and out of the city to make trade, were still there. And to attempt to step out is to get killed. At such a time, Elisha, the prophet, gave a prophetic declaration that was hard to believe. He said in 2 Kings 7, 1 thus, Elisha replied, Hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says, About this time tomorrow, a seed of the finest flour will sell for a shekel and two seeds of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. This prophetic declaration did not make sense to one of the king's officials, and he despised the prophecy and the prophet. This made him lose out of the breakthrough that God wrought for Samaria. You should not be like this king's official. Trust God enough that he will do what he says he will do. It is his business to take care of, not yours, to worry about how it will be done. The moment God gives you his word through his prophets or the Bible, you can rest assured that a huge breakthrough is coming for you. Another sign that shows a breakthrough is coming for you is when you have an unusual boldness in the face of giant challenges. This boldness makes you take daring actions you would not normally take if you were in fear. Even people around you will try to discourage you from being audacious in the face of danger because they are scared for you. However, despite their opinions, you are resolute in taking the steps not because you have any confidence in your abilities but because you are overwhelmed by confidence in God. David exemplified this boldness when he had to fight against the Philistines and giant Goliath. The Israelites had lost hope of having a breakthrough because they had been losing the war to the giant Goliath. And so, seeing a young lad stepping up to face this mysterious Goliath was too much guts to deal with. Even David's brothers chided him and spoke harshly to him, yet his mind was made up because he had an unwavering confidence in what God could do through him. I Samuel 17, 45 says, David said to the Philistine, you come against me with sword and spear and javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hands, and I'll strike you down and cut off your head. This very day I will give the carcasses of the Philistine army to the birds and the wild animals, and the whole world will know that there is a God in Israel. This was David's bold response to Goliath's taunting, daunting sighs, and speech. And he did exactly what he said. If you have trained yourself to magnify the strength of God in you, you will find yourself expressing this level of confidence and more that David expressed because you have the Spirit of God in you, and this is not the spirit of fear but of love of power and sound mind. So, how you navigate this life is walking in the confidence of God's Spirit within you. That is when you can pull down every stronghold and everything that has exalted itself above the knowledge of God in your life. This unusual boldness tells you that a breakthrough is coming. Another sign that a breakthrough is coming is when God gives you instructions amid your troubles. Obeying that instruction grants you an automatic breakthrough. It could be an instruction to fast and pray for a specified number of days. It could be an instruction to study a particular character in the Bible. It could be an instruction to help someone in need. Whichever form it takes, your breakthrough lies in your obedience to such instruction. Joshua followed God's instruction to make the Israelites go around the city of Jericho seven times, giving them a breakthrough. At another time, when the enemies compassed about the children of Israel, God instructed the Israelites to just sing and dance unto him. They obeyed, and they received a breakthrough in the war. In like manner, amid your problems and troubles, God may instruct you to worship Him. Please obey because God delights in the praise of His people. And your breakthrough may be attached to that worship. If you are the type who takes offense in people, His instruction to you might be forgiveness. This is a sign that a breakthrough is coming. Another cue you can bank on when a breakthrough is coming is that God will give you a song of deliverance. The psalmist said in Psalms 32, 7 thus, You are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. This song comes to you under the influence of God's Spirit. 
you will find yourself singing of his marvelous works, his great power, his mercy and graciousness, and his love and kindness. This song glorifies God and strengthens you to believe in the breakthrough God is bringing your way. When you sing songs of worship and adoration to God, the hosts of angels are at your service to meet your needs because you are being a pleasure to God in your low state. It goes to show the depth of your love and commitment towards God. Paul and Silas were locked up in prison because of the gospel. They should have been sad and discouraged, but no, these were rejoicing in God, singing unto God in their bonds and difficult state. They were not singing because they wanted God to set them free, but they sang from the depth of their love for God and commitment to Him. And God gave them a breakthrough from their bonds. Profound peace is another sign that a breakthrough is coming. This happens when, amid your trouble and distress, you have a quietness within your spirit. You are not troubled nor bothered by the raging storm. Even when everything around you looks like death, there is a calmness within you that makes you profess the words in Psalm 23, 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and your staff comfort me. Nothing moves the one who has put his trust in God. When you put your trust in God, you will be able to find peace amid your storm because you know that your breakthrough is near. Daniel demonstrated this profound peace when the government officials in his days conspired together to end his life. They conspired against him and made the king give an order that he should be thrown into the lion's den. An ordinary man would have died out of fear even before getting into the lion's den, but Daniel was so calm and unmoved all through. And God granted him a breakthrough as the lions could not come near him. Another significant sign that a breakthrough is coming is that God will send you a divine helper. The ironic bit is sometimes, these helpers come as people who need help and not people who can help you. That is why, whichever level of life you find yourself, don't refrain from helping people as God grants you grace. The Bible says that the merciful will obtain mercy. Such was the lot of the widow of Zarephath who had no food or sustenance save the last meal she was to meet with her son in the hope of death thereafter. But she decided to give her last to Elijah, the prophet, and this gave her a breakthrough from hunger and death. Joseph was another man who received a breakthrough from slavery because he interpreted the dream of his fellow prisoner who got out of prison according to the interpretation of the dream. After several years of being in prison, the former prisoner remembered him and mentioned him to the king when the need arose for an interpretation of the king's dream. Joseph did not know that he could become a prime minister in Egypt, but because of the interpretation he gave to the butler's dream, he got his breakthrough out of prison. This is to let you know that sometimes, what you do for others, you do for yourself. Many more signs indicate a breakthrough, but the ones mentioned are significant among the others. When you see any of these signs, a breakthrough is coming. But then, you must know how to sustain the breakthrough you receive from God so that your testimony will be permanent and not temporary. One of the things you should do when God grants you a breakthrough over your problems and challenges is to give Him all the glory. Don't be tempted to think that the breakthrough you received was merely circumstantial or coincidental. It is by the Lord's mercy that you are not consumed not by your goodness. Another thing to do to keep basking in the breakthrough that God has given you is to stay committed to God in life and service. Don't be the kind of person who forgets God when you have received your breakthrough. You should draw closer to God and nearer to Him at all times because many more challenges might still come your way by nature. In those moments, your consecration and dedication to God will make Him arise for your sake even before you call unto Him. This is because his jealousy is upon you, and he will not allow anyone to hurt you. Lastly, when you have received a breakthrough over your challenges, build an altar around it. By this, it does not mean that you will erect stones and make oblations like old men did, no. It only means that you will make it a point of mention in your prayers and fellowship with God. Note in your journey how you struggled and how God miraculously came through for you. You can always refer to this before God in the future when you face similar challenges or even a different one. 
calling him out to come through for you just as he did for you in the past. Remember, the Lord is near to those who call him. Let us pray. Father, I thank you because you have not withheld your word from me. I am grateful to hear this word at such a time. Thank you for your grace and mercy toward me. I know now that my challenges do not discredit your love for me and your sovereign power over every situation. They are just means of building my strength and trust in you. Help me, Lord, to keep trusting in your grace and mercy because my strength will fail me. Please open my eyes, Lord, and open my understanding that I may understand the signs you are showing me when a breakthrough is near. I know you have been showing me some of these signs, but I have never understood their significance until now. Help me, Lord, to do all that is required of me as you show me these signs. I want my faith in you to be resolute, even if my breakthrough takes time. I want to have the kind of profound peace that Daniel had in the lion's den. I ask, Lord, that you will give me a heart that obeys your instructions. Your instructions have been coming to me, but I have judged, using my human reasoning, that they are not so important. Forgive my disobedience, Father, and let your mercy speak for me in every way my disobedience has caused me pain and suffering. Let your Spirit guide my steps and order how I live according to your mandate for my life, even amid difficulties. Let your manifest presence be revealed in my life so that all my enemies will bow to your majesty. Father, I earnestly desire to be bold in you no matter life's situation. Help me to build my confidence in you and not in my abilities. I want to face every impossible situation with the courage only your presence offers. Grant me this, Lord. Today, I pray that every prophetic declaration you have given concerning my life will come to fruition. Your words and prophecies upon my life shall not fail but will be fulfilled in its set time. I also ask the Lord to give me the grace to help others no matter how much I need. Help me to cater to the needs of others selflessly. And help me to experience breakthroughs in every area of my life. Thank you for hearing my prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. If this video has blessed you, subscribe, like, and share. God bless you.